Welcome back to Let's Go Back Into The Vault, for apparently from the back door, I guess. I don't know. To kick some serious clergyman ass, who have taken some hostages, hold up themselves up, with a bunch of armed guards and shit, and they want Sir Emmerich to kill himself. And, yeah, needless to say, I'm not very happy right now. Well, Nameless Protagonist is not very happy. I do not stand for this kind of shit. Dude, Emmerich, you're injured, okay? He's a young, able-bodied man. I mean, you had no problem enlisting a fucking teenager. Like, seriously? You're gonna pull the, oh, are you really sure you want to do this crap on me? On him? Like, really? Like, I know the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have a reputation for this and, and all that lovely smarm. But still, like, really? So yeah, Emmerich in this instance has ridiculous HP. Holy shit. It's like 300,000. Um, yeah, hi. Uh, friend here, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights. I totally have the key. I probably know totally every entrance in here. I'm pretty sure it's very easy for me to work my way in here. And if not, yeah, as you can see, that I'm kicking your asses. That, yeah, um, any armed guards outside, which there were none, and if they were, it's completely unaddressed. Not that I really care at the moment. Yeah, I'm easily able to kick their butts, okay? You're talking to the Warrior of Light. I beat your Archbishop. I beat all your members of the Heavens Ward, some of them multiple times. So, no. You think you're any uh, worth anything to me? You are not, sirs or madams. Uh, yeah, yeah, didn't for two brothers of the faith? Yeah, yeah, okay, really. Stop acting like we haven't figured out what the hell is going on. Elvie, will you summon a fucking carbuncle already? I'm sorry, I'm just really so angry today. What is wrong with me? Okay, so you saw that you got the... You got the, the refugees under control? Okay. Alright, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, man, my cat's awake now. Well, guys, you might want to actually walk forward. Down with you! Uh, guys? Guys, like, really? Like, <laughs> man, that took forever to actually engage that comment. So, yeah, what you need to do is, like they said, is they get everything else under control, at least for the time being, and you need to, to make sure the hostages are okay. Because if any of the hostages are killed, well, that's it for the trial. And my cat is now laying against my arm. Trying to fight here. She's having absolutely none of it. quite over yet, but at least you're safe for the time being. Yeah, okay, somewhere. Okay, well... That doesn't really help us, but at least we know they weren't, like, uh, executed immediately. Tell me what to do. Kick these guys' butts. You know, I do not have good memories of this place whatsoever. So, yeah. Die, heathens! No, how about you die? Okay. You underestimate me. Yeah. What he said. Only that applies to me. Warrior or light, bitches. You better recognize. So 
So yeah, now I don't have any free healing anymore. Thanks, Alpha No. Yeah, thanks for that. So they're gonna take care of the crap up here, and I might have to trigger it. Because there are more hostages, as you can say, there's six of them. So they're gonna handle everything up here. As soon as the cutscene is over, anyway. Oh, well that's fascinating because we actually invited one to the city. The Archbishop had him tortured! Fuck you guys! I was the one who killed him! Are you too much of a wuss to face me? Uh, uh, is it really wise to leave you alone? Sir, you are injured. I know orders and orders and all that, but is this really a good idea? So, as you can see, this gate is now open. And you are kind of on a bit of a time limit to make sure that these hostages do not die. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and just fucking aggro the shit out of everything because, well, I can't heal myself now. Because I can no longer play the blah 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 Elfino really doesn't suck at healing card because, well, he's not here to heal me anymore. Uh, but even so, this is not really hard. You're just on a more on the DPS time limit than you are on a health time limit because, as you can see, these guys kind of hit like wet noodles. Uh, so, we need to free them from their bonds. Yay! So that's four hostages rescued. And I can never remember where the last set is. Okay, they are in there, but I gotta go around the long way. Okay. So I gotta go through here. Okay. You're partially gated in here, so it's kind of hard to tell. And it doesn't help by the map. Yeah, this place, if you look on my compass, doesn't technically exist on the map. Fuck you, go over there. No, I didn't mean to pop presence of mind, although that doesn't help. Sorry, it doesn't hurt me. But yeah, as you can see, this refugee is getting the crap beat out of him. So yeah, this is one instance where time is of the essence, because they will still be continuing to attack the refugees even before you find them. Which kind of sucks, and it kind of does lead to a bit... Dude, why are you following me? Like, run toward the exit! Yastrola, I thought you were gonna take care of healing the refugees and all that crap. Get your butt over there and help escort them out. What's wrong with you? Yeah, so we still have one hostage left. But for now, for now, we get help Sir Emmerich, who is steadily declining in health. He's still alright though. He'll still be fine. So yeah, you can't let him die either. Although, I haven't actually sat through this whole instance to figure out what actually does happen if you let him die. So I'm gonna put some dots on him and then I'm gonna take care of the rest of these assholes. Cause they're annoying me. This knight does not yield. Yeah, you tell that asshole. that not hit them? Okay, there we go. They didn't look to appear to take off any health on my end. Yeah, you want to play the I'm so holier than thou card? Well, fuck you, so can I. Except I have a white mage stone. Therefore, I am automatically more awesome than you are. Thought you would get away with it, huh? Thought you could challenge the Warrior of Light, did you? Yeah, have you guys done some redecorating in here since the Archbishop's Fall, or is just the lighting in here different? Because I don't remember the floor looking like this. What? 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 
There's seven refugees. Somebody didn't get a proper head count. Where is he? Where is he? Took him upstairs. Did you not pay attention? Oh, you son of a bitch. Come no closer. Girl, kick him in the balls. No, seriously, kick him in the nuts. Right now. You have nowhere to run. Release the girl and surrender. Surrender to whom? The blasphemer who throws wide the gates to our enemy? Who breaks bread with him and calls him brother? Ungodly swine! I would sooner die than surrender to you. You know, I can grant that wish, and you know, you can't really claim holiness when you have a child by the throat hanging off the edge. Fuck you! Is it godly to spill the blood of an innocent child? To burn the homes of your brothers? Tell me, priest, is that godly? You tell him. You tell him, Sir Emmerich. Do not speak to me of godliness, heathen! Your father's blood is on your hands. As is hers! He's not the one who killed the Archbishop. I was, you dickheads! Somebody shoot him, stab him. Thank Red Dagathorn would be really nice to write about. Oh, no, you. F you. Oh, my God. Somebody murder him right now. Please. No, seriously. Seriously. Stab him right the fuck now. No, seriously, like, disembowel him entirely. Public display and everything. Okay, it does not take this long to reach terminal velocity. Remember, kids, it's not the fall that kills you, it's a sudden stop at the end. What? But I... I'll have it off near. Nice catch. Uh, hopefully Sir Emmerich warned you guys of the white dragon who would come to visit this fair city on invitation. The Daphne! I find it cute that even though Vidofner just saved her life, she her first thing like this. Holy shit, what just happened? I'm gonna hide. Well, night. Mayhap I chose an inopportune moment. You just saved a child from death! You couldn't have planned that better! Not at all. Pray forgive us this most unworthy reception. We are honored to have you with us, and right glad of your aid. Okay, people of this guard, this is Vidofner. She is friend. Fortune delivered the child unto me. I had but to receive her. Uh, uh, I'm not. I'm just not going to touch that. Not at all. Thank you for saving me. Oh. Thou art welcome, child. Now, can we drop that priest's body off the edge and let him go splat? Guys? Please? And then we can have Vidofnir eat his corpse? Please? Pretty please? Never did I think to be indebted to so unexpected a savior. But full glad am I to be so. Yeah, how about we actually get into why we invited her to the city in the first place? Mm -hmm. 
Friend of Izel, warrior of warriors, I had hoped to meet with thee. Oh! Oh, by the way, this guy in blue, he's Sir Emmerich. He, he's our friend. He's the one who actually invite, extended this invitation to you. Hi. Perhaps you would like an introduction. I bear a message from my sire. Another one? From Freisfelger. Uh, yes. That's his name. You didn't forget about that. Upon returning to our lands, Nidhogg's shade did sing unto his brood, and they for skies unknown did then take wing. This thou must know, for your fates are inextricably bound. Yeah, we were kind of there, and by the way, your grandpa kind of already half filled us in on this. What of Estinian? Is he truly lost to us? Such matters are beyond my ken. I but bear my father's words. Take from them what thou wilt. Fare you well, mortals. Um, hi. We invited you to the city. For what purpose other than to make friends? I mean, the way this plays out, they almost make it seem like she, knowing it was at least safe to come into the city, just came here to, to come and talk to us. Rather than to answer Sir Emmerich's invitation. And by the way, Sir Emmerich, would you not take advantage of why you would wear the city in the first place? So it is as they say, then. A great white dragon swooped down from the heavens to rescue an innocent child. When did they have time to say this? This happened like 45 seconds ago. I mean, we're sure people are talking about it in the streets, but... She's pretty large. She's hard to miss. A most unexpected turn of events, but not an unwelcome one. The people will not soon forget this day. Uh, by the way, yes, did we actually give an order out there to not hurt the white dragon who is going to come to our city at some point? Yet how will they choose to remember it, Sir Emmerich? And will these events serve to bring man and dragon closer together, or drive a deeper wedge between brothers? And by the way, did we kill that priest? After a thousand years, the world these men once knew is changing, and with ungentle swiftness to boot. Though their actions are misguided, their sentiments are only to be expected. You may be sure that others will rally to their cause. Um, hi, Mr. Count, sir? Yes, Sir Emmerich actually went into this when we went into the meeting in his office in the first place, and what actually surprised him was the amount of people, not that this happened in the first place. I share your desire for a lasting peace with the Giovannians, I do. But I would not see it built on the bones of our countrymen. Nor on our own. Um, that wasn't our fault. I see much of horsifying you, and I could not bear to mourn the passing of another son. Okay, that kind of came out of nowhere, but I want Lord you to keep Edmund. that line in mind for an episode way further down. Well, not really way further down line, but several episodes ahead. I want you to just keep that in mind, because I will come back to that. Yeah, by the way, RT, could we at least have some minor character pieces and developments for you other than just expedition in that quest? Because we have a little bit more idea of what kind of a man your little brother is rather than you. So that's kind of disappointing. I mean, it's good to actually see you around. It is good. Well, probably not because you would have seen her in the sky. She's a big dragon. She's hard to miss. In the moment. Dude, you had several sec oh, like seconds at best. It does not take quite that long to reach terminal velocity. If you can even reach terminal velocity from this low of a high. I don't know. I don't know. Anybody who's a physics major can tell me that. I, 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 I don't know quite the exact formula for how long it actually takes to reach terminal velocity. Of course she could have stayed longer. She just chose not to.
Or how about we mention the fact that, you know, uh, the church was behind the attack and a fucking priest literally just tried to murder a child in cold blood? Guys? What? Yeah, he seems pretty much his, uh, his, uh, pretty much old self. I mean, he's got that eye patch on, but... Okay. That wasn't really much of a concern for him before. But yeah, basically what she's insinuating is the reason he had to stay kind of around in the forelands is because he literally couldn't go back to teleport through Revenant's Toll or anywhere. Like, he's gotta walk everywhere now. And it's kind of crappy that they don't make that a little bit more clear there. The Snanker didn't use magic, but if they had specified teleportation magics, that might make a little bit more sense there. But essentially, yes, that's what's going on. But yeah, like seriously, seriously, they don't actually ever address what happens to that guy who stabs Sir Amaric. Whatever happens to the captive who was the end up being the arsonist? What happens to that guy that Sir Amaric was fighting, Sir whatever the hell his name was? What the hell happens to that priest who tried to murder a child in cold blood? No, no, I will not let that go. You never find out what happens to them. And I know it's not important to the plot, to, you know, for us to know every single little detail of that, but how about a flavor moment? Okay, she's on the manor. How about a flavor moment somewhere about, you know, them being detained and, you know, they will, they will be given a fair trial and, you know, or, you know, be, be, be rightfully punished for their crimes or something. Like, that's all you need. Like, just, just address the issue that, yes, these guys are in custody. You know, we do more interrogations need to happen. Like, just, just ultimately, are they going to be punished for their crimes? That's all I need to know. Give them a fair trial. Maybe execute them on site. Maybe make an example out of them. I don't care. Just address the fact that Ishgard as a whole is addressing this problem. Now, Tataru, have you been okay? You know, they set the broom on fire and shit. That Vodofnir should chance to arrive even as the girl fell. Truly, I could not have planned it better myself. Oh, hi, guys. Ah, oh, good. We were afraid you might have left. Where would I go? Well, off on another adventure, I guess, but... A shield, my lord? Uh, I, I, I already have one? Fit for a true knight. An expression of our gratitude to you and yours. Long overdue. I mean, I mean, this one is actually in good condition, doesn't have a giant hole in it, I know, too soon. But there is something else I would discuss ere you part. Something which cannot leave this room. My father will soon step down as head of our house. Okay. Sir Emmerich was not the only one to fall under suspicion following the death of the Archbishop. There are some who believe my father complicit in a coup d'etat. On what fucking grounds?! Thus he intends to renounce his title to absolve our house of suspicion and secure the support of our peers. Surely there must be another way to convince houses Dorndare and Zamile. No, no, seriously, can we, can we not address this? What the 
what kind of ground should I have to do this? So I said to him, alas, he will not budge. Ever since I was a child, I knew that I would one day succeed my father. The thought of it filled me with pride. Yet once I learned the day was at hand, my heart was filled with naught but dread. Well, considering in light of what has happened recently, uh, I'm not going to put any sort of blame on you for that. Because, yeah, the city's kind of a uh, little bit in little rioty turmoil over here. Yeah. Not the best of circumstances to ascend ahead of your household. Our legacy is built upon the lies of our forefathers. In accepting this title, am I not perpetuating this injustice? Why should I become the next count? Um, again, I must address the point that Haldreth left the kingdom to the surviving knights, rightfully so. Two of them decided they didn't want in, and the other four divided it amongst themselves. They got it, and they got control of Ishgard fair and fucking square. It was everything else they lied about. Oh, right, my game right in the field. Stop it. Stop it. You sound just like him. I... I suspect that is what Horshefon would have said. To aid those in need. When you look on that shield, I trust you will remember his words. And should I once more find my resolve wavering, I ask that you show me the way. Um, we do remember his words. That is why I just spewed them back out at you? You were a sister to Horshefon. Will you be a sister to me as well? Yeah, sure, why not? We're friends. We're cool. Come, Emanelaine. There's much to be done. For Father, and for Sir Emmerich, and for Ishgard. Well, you came in high spirits uh, rather quickly there. To think we share the same blood. Pray excuse us. Oh, we'll get into that. Boy, will we get into that. Those were the days of promises and vows. Of tentative first steps into an uncertain future. A future shaped by the choices we made. In ways we could never have foreseen. Born of good and evil, of light and darkness, and shepherded by our hand. Be it for weal, or be it for woe. Uh, game, would you like to give me some visuals to go along with this monologue? Kind of boring staring at a black screen. Maybe even have a camera pan of the city, something, anything? Did the budget run out? But yeah, the point of giving us that shield, even though we already have Rochefort's shield already complete with hole in it, uh, is to give us the glamour one. So if you remember at the very, very end of A Realm Reborn, one of the final scenes is of Elidibus approaching Oriage. We finally get to see the consequences of that. And I see those little scumbags are there too. What?
Huh. Okay, then. Thought I saw an old friend there for a minute, but maybe it's just my imagination. Is that Ida? I, I see a tattoo there. I see a tattoo. It is! It's Ida and Papa Limo! Hi! But where the hell are you? And why haven't you come back to us yet? I mean, we know you're alive and what- where, Papa Limo, where's your monocle? Like, it's not like ditching it is going to do any good to hide your identity if that's what you're doing. Because your tattoos are in plain sight. Can you guys not get some concealer and shit to cover that up? If indeed you need to cover them up or you're trying to hide your identities, we don't know. We don't know, I'm just pulling conversation out of my butt right now. But yeah, again, the scions are very easily noticeable by those tattoos. It's very easy to use those as a mark of identification to find and track each other down. Why does the game at no point ever mention or take advantage of this? And I know I've harped on about this for a couple episodes now, but holy crap. It is so obvious and so staring them in the face, and the fact that it's not addressed in any way, shape, or form just kind of annoys the piss out of me. Like, it's not like a common mark or anything like that. Like, it, it, it's not just, you know, say something common like a sleeve tattoo or a tramp stamp or something like that that a bunch of people have that might narrow it down a little bit, but not necessarily is going to, you know, you know, define one person from another. There's like half a dozen of them wandering around in Eorzea with these marks on their, on their, on their necks. And they all have them on their necks. Like, really? I'm, I'm sorry, it's just, I, I know, I know people are probably gonna be like, oh my god, she will not shut up about this. But it is just, it's, it's so obviously slapping the game and the writers in the face, and it, ugh. I, I, I just hate when they ignore stuff like this for the sake of the plot. Address it in some way, shape, or form. Even if you have to bullshit it away, well, at least do something to bullshit it away. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna complain about the bullshit, but at least I'm gonna give you half a point for actually addressing the problem in the first place. Ugh. I, I just, one thing I hate is stupidity for the sake of the plot and the narrative. I hate that. Hate it, hate it, hate it. But yes, that is the end of Life 3.1. Hooray! That only took five episodes. And I know I, again, I apologize for sounding kind of very angry in this long-winded, like, three-hour session I've been sitting here recording it. So next time, we'll actually continue on with the next patch. What is going on with Uriage and the Warriors of Darkness over there? Even though we as a Warrior of Light don't know that yet. Uh, what's going to happen with Vodafnir? I mean, she saved child life and all. Is she ever going to come back to the city? Is Amorite going to tell her actually why he permanently invited her to the city in the first place? I mean, it could be just a formal invitation that, yes, the city is free for you to visit any time. Blah, blah, blah. Did he have a meeting in mind? We don't know. We don't know. Whatever happens to those bastards who just try to kill a child. Again, kind of spoiled that already. They don't address it whatsoever. Uh, will we continue our missing search for Eden Papalema? Which, now as the player, we at least know they're alive, but the Warriors of Light do not. What about Menphilia? What's going on? What about Hori Boulder and his friends and everything like that? Uh, yeah, we still get a bunch of missing friends to find and everything like that. So hopefully in the next episode, in the next patch... Maybe we'll learn a little bit more information. Tataru, go back to your job at the Forgotten Night. You know, hopefully the fires will be settled down and all that stuff. Uh, maybe we'll find out how Hilda and Thancred are getting along, even though Thancred apparently is going back to Revenant's Toll, I guess. Uh, how is Kryl doing in her search with uh, Matoya for Minvilia and all that good stuff? And I'm going to shut up now. Thank you for watching, friends. I'll see you later.